In this final video, we will look at BitLocker and BitLocker to Go. First, what is BitLocker and BitLocker to Go? Then we will look at how to enable BitLocker and how to enable BitLocker to Go. What is BitLocker and BitLocker to Go? Encryption helps protect the data on your device. It ensures that only authorized people have access to the data. This encryption comes in three flavors in Windows 10 device encryption, BitLocker, and BitLocker to Go. Device encryption uses hardware inside your computer to facilitate and speed up the encryption and decryption of the data. BitLocker does the same thing, only using software and the computer's CPU to do the encryption and decryption of the fixed hard drives in your computer. BitLocker to Go is an encryption solution that works on USB flash drives, SD cards, or external hard drives. To find out if device encryption is enabled on your computer, go to the Settings app, navigate to Update and Security, and if it is enabled, you will see device encryption listed on the left. It is not listed here on this computer because this computer doesn't have the required hardware to do the encryption and decryption. So how do I enable BitLocker? From Settings, you can type in BitLocker and Manage BitLocker will appear. This will open up the Control Panel, System and Security section, and the BitLocker Drive Encryption. To turn on BitLocker, you will notice that the Operating System Drive BitLocker is off, and any fixed data drives would also be listed here. We're going to turn on BitLocker. Click the button, and it will check the system's configuration. Then it will ask how do you want to back up your recovery key. You can save it to your Microsoft account, save it to a file, or you can print the recovery key. I'm going to save it to a file. Then click Next. Then it will ask how much of your drive to encrypt. You can encrypt use disk space only, which is faster and best for new PCs and drives. Or you can encrypt the entire drive, slower but best for PCs that have drives already in use. We're going to encrypt use disk space only on this computer but older computers should probably encrypt the entire drive. We're going to use the new encryption mode, which is best for fixed drives on this device. And finally, we're going to run the BitLocker system check. BitLocker will restart your computer before encrypting. So we will click Continue, and the system will restart. After a restart, you will notice that BitLocker is encrypting your drive. There's a lock icon next to the drive, and in Windows Explorer, there's also a lock icon on the drive. While this is encrypting, let's go ahead and look at BitLocker to Go. BitLocker to Go is the same as BitLocker, except it's for removable drives. We're going to encrypt the D drive on this computer by turning on BitLocker. You can use a password to unlock the drive, or you can use a smart card to unlock the drive. I'm going to use a password. Enter in your password, and then click Next. We'll save the recovery key to a file, and then we will click Next. Again, we will encrypt Use Disk Space Only to be faster, and we will use compatible, or we will use a new encryption mode because I don't plan on using this on Windows version 15, 11, or later. And we can start encrypting, and you can see that it's almost completed. Encryption of D is complete. Now we can click Close. And our choices are, you can back up your recovery key, change the password, remove the password, add smart card, turn on auto unlock, and turn off BitLocker. And you'll notice that the lock icon appears next to the drive. Next, let's look at what happens when you insert a thumb drive that has BitLocker enabled. When you insert a drive that has BitLocker enabled, you can see that the gold lock icon appears. We can unlock the drive from within BitLocker, or from within File Explorer, when you try to access it, it will ask for the password to unlock the drive. Entering the password and then clicking Unlock will decrypt the drive so that we can have access to the data. We can turn on Auto Unlock so that every time we insert this drive on this computer, it will automatically unlock. Or we can turn off BitLocker to disable it, which will decrypt the drive. At this time, you can see that our C drive, the operating system drive, is completed. BitLocker is on. Your choices then are suspend protection, back up your recovery key, and turn off BitLocker. Disabling BitLocker is the same as on a removable data drive, just takes a little longer. 
In this video, we looked at what BitLocker and BitLocker to go is. We looked at how to enable BitLocker and how to enable BitLocker to go. Please return for the next section on maintenance of Windows 10.